Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce new website which name is topoexports.com. This website helps you and provides you different type of maps with different elements. So in this case, it's really useful for the urban designers, architectures, urban planners, or even landscape architectures. So let's get to work and jump into it. First of all, we have this environment in this website, as you can see. So I'm going to test it out for you. This website is really useful in your portfolio creating or even in your university or urban design projects. I don't know. It completely depends on you. So let's get to work on it. First of all, we have search bar in here. I'm going to search Rome and I'm going to press enter, for example, this one. This is the beautiful city of Italy, Rome. So I'm going to move closer, closer. And for example, some type of place like that, something like this. So this is my first map, which you can see in here, or even a little bit closer. Something like this, for example. All right. So this is my uh, selected area. You can play with it in different type of angles, shots, resolutions, and different type of perspectives. So I think this one is enough for me. We have two type of exports and previews in the topoexport.com. First one is the 2D vectorial map, and second one is the 3D modeling. If you click on one of them, you can see multiple options which are available for you. So. I'm going to start with the 2D vectorial map. First of all, we have three type of exports, DXF, PDF, and SVG. So this one is really useful when you want to use it on the Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. I don't know, but this time I want to use PDF. When I select one of them, it will default select all of these options, but we want to work on it step by step. So. I select PDF in here, deselect these items in here, and now I want to select buildings for my first export. When I click on the building and click on the preview on the PDF format, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time and you can see your preview job in here. So it's not really good for me. I'm going to click on the back option and add roads. And now I can click on the preview again. And the thing has happened is something like this. As you can see, it's the uh, main source of the uh, OSM data, and I think it's really wonderful. And the documentation preview of this website, you can see how it works, and in the about part, you can see it too. So this is the uh, second mode of it, buildings plus roads, and you can see the number of buildings. For example, 384 buildings and 530 roads include passes, alleys, minor roads, major roads. We have railways, waterways. For example, this is the river Tiber, so I'm going to add waterways. I don't need, for example, building shadows or trees and green spaces. You can use it if you buy premium account of it. Or we have the counter lines in here. If you click on the counter lines, you can change them from 5 meter to the 10 meter. It completely depends on you. So in this case, I want to turn off the counter lines in here and click on the preview to see what really happened. This time it will show me waterways, buildings and roads. And I think it's really exciting. So I can click on the download my export. It takes a little bit of time. And after that, it will download it for me. Very simple and easy in the downloads folder. You can click on it and extract it. Very simple and easy. Topo export. And this is our first 2D vectorial map in here on the uh, PDF viewer. You can see what really happened inside it. I think it is really, really fantastic with all the details. And you can see your urban design and architecture projects very simple. You can show it much better. So I think it's good for it. Now I'm going to test it out 3D modeling of it. So I'm going to deselect 2D map, 3D modeling. So this time I want to, for example, take OBG, I don't know, STL, IFC or DXF. It completely depends on you. I only want to show the preview. I don't want to open it. So I'm going to click on the buildings and click on the preview to see what truly happened. It takes a little bit of time. And after that, you can see your isometric, I don't know, or perspective 3D modeling of your area. 
very simple and easy. So it usually takes more time than the 2D vectorial map. So as you can see, this is the uh, simple way of 3D model rendering has been decided to provide a quick preview. So as you can see, this is the uh, thing that we have in here. I'm going to close it. Another time, I'm going to add roads. And for example, railways, I'm going to click on the preview to see what's happened next. And you can see the database update in here, 2024. So I think this website is really, really useful and functional if you want to create different type of urban projects. So this is the final thing that we have in here. For example, uh, I'm going to click on it and or no, it's okay for me. So this is the uh, thing that we have in here and you can download it by the DX format, for example. So I'm going to close it like that and something like this. And this is the things that we have in here. If you click on the building, click on the more setting, you can add some building heights, which is unknown. So it's on the team meter. I can change it to the 16 meter and click on the preview. Another time we have another type of 3D exporting here. So this is the final tutorial about the uh, Topo export. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If this tutorial helps you a little bit, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your valuable watching. And you can join to this website very simple. The link below this video. Thanks for your time and goodbye.